What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with me, Jim, behind the tent here at the Shave Shack. I have just a few minutes, seconds ago, prep the head with star jelly from PAA, the prickly pear pre-shave. Coming to the end of that, and uh. <clears throat> Gonna be going with the Kayun. Sorry if I'm butchering that. <laughs> Kayun workshop. It's called the Ink Blot, I believe. It was marketed as the Ink Blot handle. The, um, the camera's not gonna do it any justice. It's just a beautiful black with clear, obviously, with the purple sparkles. The silver sparkles, the ergonomics of this thing is awesome. You got the uh, matte black coin there. It's a really nice brush, and I chose to put a silver tip in there. And I have this warming in my moon scuttle, moon brush scuttle, rather. And star of the show. I call my software the star because <clears throat> that's what I talk about. Unless it's just a, spe a specific hardware review. That's what I talk about. So Going with Monstroso. Monstroso, Monstroso, whatever. This is the 2019 version. So call... Southern California Gun and Wet Shavers Collective. Don't know if they still have a group anymore, but Soap came out on October 19th of 2019. And first time I got introduced to the scent, and as soon as I screw, unscrewed the lid, I fell in love. As you can see, I've put a quite a dent in these. You know they're filled pretty much to the brim when you get them with the CK6 especially. So, yeah. I love vetiver, and and I don't know, I just do, but Splash, you're following up, it's got actual Haitian vetiver in here, as you can see, and this has been soaking in this bottle for um, at least four years, I don't know how long he did it, probably six, eight months before he put it in there or before he released it I'm not sure but at least four years so we're gonna go into the puck get a load then I'll get into the hardware hope everyone's well <clears throat> tomorrow I'll be doing a Thanksgiving shave probably with the same soap I used last year so and just hints it's an artisan that is no longer with us they wanted to take it they decided to take a different journey in life and business and that's fine sometimes you just want to get out of things for whatever reason and i don't think um their reason was because of sales i believe they just uh one of the two of the married couple i guess just wanted to move on to other things and the other one followed suit so we got a really nice load here. Even more in here. I'm going to scoop that out. This soap was way more than worth it. I'm so glad I got it when I did. It's not as strong as it was, but it's still really strong. And that's awesome it's not only haitian vetiver it has blood orange and apricot so but haitian vetiver is the star um let me rinse this out the pet peeve of mine that has clean soap rinse that out with lukewarm water Turn it upside down. Now the hardware. Going in with the pearl. 
uh, shoot, the Pearl Flexi. I haven't had a lot of experience with this razor on the head, but however, I do find it a really nice razor. It's adjustable from one to six, and it's a bottom dial, unscrew, top comes off. Second use Gillette spoiler in here. And you know, guys, don't let me forget to finish up the shave with my alum stick. Like I always forget, but that's fine. Um, I was going to go pull out a really nice vetiver. Um, soap or soap fragrance a gent gave me in a giveaway for being on his show on um, the lather whipster I don't know if y'all know him uh, but his name is Reed and it was a really good scent I just didn't feel like I didn't even really feel like I needed it because this vetiver is marinated in this aftershave slash cologne of itself for four years so this i know it's going to be strong so i didn't feel like i needed it it was strong on day one so uh, yeah i really love this knot here does not give given review i purchased this brush as well as the razor i did get 15 or 25 percent off the razor but i had to review it and i'm still using it to this day a lot of reviewers just get it for free review it once and that's it they sell it or stick it in the closet so I'm bringing it out of resur. I'm res I'm resurrecting it, <sighs> as I do most things that I get to review. But like I said, I did put some money with it, so it's not free. It's, the soap set was not free. Um, so letting everyone know that because some people assume. Everything you're using is free. So, no. And I do not get any cash from any of these companies. Any company at all. So, be nice, but <laughs> I just don't. So, really good knot here on this Calhoun Badger. Like I said, really good ergonomics if you're a, a head lather, face lather. All right, looks really good. I'm gonna get that evened out. And we're gonna save the rest for the second, possibly third pass. My last face shave video was a challenge. I didn't quite care for really. Because I had a lot of growth left, but here we go. Dial four, Pearl Flexi with the Gillette spoiler second use. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to turn this up to a five. I'm actually just going to redo that. Okay. 
probably go five, then down to a four, then a three. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot better. There's no overhang on this. In case you're wondering, I do see a badger hair there. <laughs> so, which is fine and normal. In case you're new to the hobby and think the brush is garbage, you know, it's very normal for that to happen with natural hair fibers. Look at that. Hey, look at that, hey. That's a perfect dialed in for me. I don't like my lather falling off the razor and I don't like it sticking. The way I cannot get it off the razor it's quite annoying and it ruins the experience for me when that happens that's why i make sure i incorporate enough water uh too much water is quite rare with these artisans nowadays um But a lot better than having not enough. Super smooth on this number with this blade. Um, well, I can't see, but um, I hope everybody has a very nice Thanksgiving in advance, even though I should get to do a face shave tomorrow. I normally exclusively only shave on camera, so y'all are seeing everything when I do it, no edits. Um, I do not daily shave. Because just haven't felt like it, but I eat, like I do about every other day. I try not to go any more than three, but mm, lately just haven't felt like it. Honestly, so second pass. I should have plenty left. For a little touch up pass. Am I ready? About 14 minutes in, but that's fine. Anybody that doesn't want to watch a 20 minute video, I mean, what do you, I mean, for no cuts, that's pretty damn good. There's no cuts in my video. Unless my camera cuts off and I'm not going to post any. But. I'll probably post this 5.30 a.m. American East Coast time. So, oh, there's going to be no third pass because I just squeezed all the lather out. So, I'm going to frost the top. Something I learned from Josh over at Redbeard Shaves on YouTube. This scent shrink. Ah, oh, give it a on the head. I give it a six. In the right den itself, I give it a a seven. If you're counting around you and what's on your head. But on the face, it's an 8.5. For a fresh tub of this, it's a 10. 
some high opinion. But on the face, it's like a 8.5 on the head, brand new. However, this is holding its own. It is four years old. Dialing this down to a four. So I can go against Yeah, I was needing a head shape pretty bad. Well, at least for us, we shave all the time and are into the hobby. I was needing one really bad. It was only about three days, but that's really bad for me. Five days is bum status for me. Those there. Very comfortable. This, this Pearl Flexi is made in India. The razors are not hundreds of dollars. They are. This razor is really heavy, and I like it. I let all of the weight do the work. Um, in case anyone's curious, I have 21A 2591. It does come with a cereal. And that's the bottom. Pearl logo. So, I'm going to come up here on the sides. They're just going to milk walking dead to the last cent, huh? That's crazy. I have no comments on that. <clears throat> My opinion. I have one comment. My opinion. It shouldn't have lasted this long. But. They're milking it because the fans are eating it up. And they want money who don't. So they're gonna do 1500 spin offs and just a bunch of bullshit that don't need to be done. Mainly because a teenage girl is spending all of her money on Daryl posters. So, whatever. She'd already, they'd already be doing that, but they don't need to make some nonsense story continue. It doesn't need to be done. They could have already wrapped that Rick stuff up, and I just don't get it. I don't get where they're going to take this to where it's not straight over a kill. And I already know it's going to be. Because I've done that for like the last past six seasons, but whatever. That feels really nice. I do not have any more soap on my brush, but, but.
Let's check. The residual sweetness we have here. I'm going to dial that down to a 2. Does not feel like Thanksgiving for me. At all. It hasn't for many, many years, but This year in particular, it really does not. Probably worse than any other year. I cannot even seem to get my short term cleared or even a decision made because they claim they never got the facts from the doctor and that was the last step. And I know good and damn well they did. Why? a family member works in a doctor's office which one mine at the front desk she did it herself so that's bullshit and gonna have to call them tomorrow sit on hold for probably about an hour if i'm lucky I'm gonna find out what the hell's going on i mean i can't sit here and get kicked out of my home because people are ignorant and don't want to do their jobs. And all this boils back down to Chewy. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, as you can see there, I just picked up a clump of hair that I'd been shaving and it got released from the bottom of the razor there. And, uh, I like doing this technique, or is my technique. Um, I start here, I just do like a circle pattern, like that. Like a U shape. Like a half circle, I guess. So yeah, no weepers, no razor burn. Let's let the alum tell us how we did, and we'll get on to the post and the closure. So, uh, here we go here. Yeah, smooth shade. I mean, a tiny. I can tell I'm putting it on here, but that's about it. Which is a good thing. So... That is that. I don't rinse mine off. I just don't feel a need in that. <clears throat> you want to take really good care of your uh, natural fibers. It's not starting to gel up. I don't use it as much as I should or could. I'm fortunate enough to have a nice selection, decent selection. I don't have top of the line brushes, but I have about 20, so 25. There we go with that. This back one for next year, because I don't think we'll be seeing them again this year. At least on camera. And uh, I was going to show you guys something, but I lost it. Anyways, um, Kayun, Kayun workshop, beautiful brush. You just set that down and come in, disassemble this while that alum's setting up on my head, setting up wherever. Pull out that. <clears throat> He's a liar. He wasn't even shaving with a blade. He must have inserted that CGI. No. That's 